Amen. Amen. Blessed, beautiful viewers. We greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Blessed greetings to you all, dear. Wherever you are, wherever you may be, we bring you love from our Father, our mentor, our great shepherd, Papa Lesekodane. Uh, we thank the awesome God that we are here today in the beauty of His holiness. We are here today uh, uh, to give thanks to, to the awesome wonder of the Almighty God. Uh, we are here to celebrate one continuous day of His high glory in our life. Indeed, our Redeemer, <laughs> our Redemption, our Savior, our husband has always been there for us. Uh, he, he chose us in his son before the creation. He caused us to love. He loved us even without we knowing him. He loved us. He loved us even, even though we were born in iniquity. He still loved us. Even though we did not recognize him, he still loved us. His love is priceless. His love is forevermore. His love is the same as yesterday. His love is forevermore. Blessed, beautiful viewers from all over the world, whatever you are, whatever you might be, whatever hour that you are you at at the moment, uh, we say welcome. Welcome to uh, Thursday uh, uh, ministration. Uh, I am uh, Apostle Kenny C.J. Chris. Of course, I am the son of my father, your father, our blessed father, Prof. Leseko Daniel. Uh, we thank God for, for this love in his life. Uh, we thank God for the same love, uh, in, in the love of Christ that we continue to receive uh, uh, from him. Uh, it comes from, from the Almighty God. Uh, we thank God for the beautiful time we had, we, we, time well spent with the Father yesterday. It was returned in the garden, average mentality, where all the sons from all over the world, all the sons and daughters, every minister of the true gospel, we all assembled in the beauty in the beauty of Christ's holiness, and we receive from the throne of the Father. We receive direct from the, from the mouth of God, and uh, 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 we thank God for such uh, uh, such wonderful privileges. Uh, we thank God for such awesome wonders. Uh, we thank God for such teaching, uh, teaching that comes to uh, to uh, uh, renew our strength, teachings that come to to bring to to assure us of the light in us, the light that give birth to us. Uh, such teaching elevates us that in all circumstances, in all situations, the light never dims. As Jesus said, we are, the, we are a city on a hill that can never be hidden. A light that can never be dimmed. No matter the situation, no matter the, the pandemic virus, we remain the light that refuses to be dimmed. Meaning, our light is forevermore. Remember, Hebrews 1, 8, our throne is forevermore. Son, our throne is forevermore. We thank God. Uh, we continue to uh, uh, to thank God. Uh, we continue to appreciate God. Uh, we continue to give Him all the thanks. He deserves all our worship. He deserves all our thanks. He is the same yesterday. He remains the same today. He will remain the same forevermore. For His glory is unfailing. His love never ends. His mercy are new every day of our life. His goodness, His goodness continue to uh, to keep us in, in in a state of endurance. That's why we go through all persecution, knowing that our husband, our redeemer, uh, is always there for our sake. Thank you all, blessed, beautiful viewers. Uh, we are going to intercede right now. Uh, we are going to uh, uh, pray. We are going to also intercede for nations. We are going to intercede for the world. We are going to intercede for leaders. Uh, we are going to intercede for every sundry. I greet you all, dear, beautiful, uh, uh, blessed uh, brothers and sisters. In the Lord, I greet you all, dear sons of my father, daughters of my father. I greet you all, dear uh, sons and daughters of uh, Rabbonite International Ministries. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for being part of this uh, wonderful, uh, uh, wonderful time. We raise the fellowship together. We are one together in Christ. Listen, we are united in love. Listen, we are knitted in the heart of the Father. We and you together will remain one. Oneness of the Father. Listen, where where can we go from His presence? Where can we walk from his presence? How can we run from his presence? We are one. We are one. Even though we are not uh, physically together, but in spirit, we remain together. We remain in oneness of the Father. Uh, 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 thank you so much. Thank you so much for, uh, for spreading the gospel. Thank you for, uh, uh, for being a partaker of, of this divine gospel. Thank you that we, uh, together, we, we become a sharer of this word. We become a sharer of, of this gospel. 
together we we come together to uh, bring the estab establishing a world from above upon upon the nations meaning uh, we bring in the fulfillment of Matthew 28 verse 18 say go ye into the world right now we are going into the world through you as you share many from from your, from your page those that are not from here those that are from far and wide as they see also they share and they begin to watch and they begin to receive as as uh, as we uh, we, call, we bring the fulfilling word of our of our glorious master jesus christ go ye into the world and teach and preach this gospel whoever listen whoever welcome this gospel whoever receive this gospel i've received the master Whoever welcomed this gospel in their heart, I've welcomed the master in their heart. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, our brothers and sisters. Thank you so much, uh, men and women of God. Thank you so much, sons of my father. We really love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for the oneness. Uh, thank you for, for the unity in Christ. Uh, right about now, we are all going to pray together. Each, each one of us ha has a responsibility to pray for the leaders. Each one of us has a responsibility uh, to pray for the world. Each one of us has a responsibility to pray for the society. Even though we are not living in society, we, we are still uh, uh, responsible uh, for that society. Remember, we are not waging war against flesh and blood, but against rulers and principality. Uh, so if we fold our hands and become less consigned, uh, our rulers and principality begins to prosper. Uh, uh, for, uh, for 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 the word of God to become prosperous, there uh, 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 Jesus had to come and and bring the word from above on earth that the earth prosper, uh, the earth prosper because Jesus came and bring the word in, onto the earth. Listen, uh, 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 um, the earth received the word, but now the earth now begin to give in, in into the rulers and principality, the rulers and principality that God equally created in the world. Now for the lights, the light that never dims, the everlasting light now has to come and shine and replicate the light in unbelievers. Every believers, every believing generation all becomes an image of the invisible one. Every believer that received Jesus Christ become Christ on earth. It is our 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 our, our, our um it is our duty. It is our responsibility not to stop praying for our sonry, not to stop praying for the world, not to stop praying for the children and the youth, especially uh, those in hospital, those that are facing all kind of illness, those that are facing all kind of sickness. As we know, we see people being being driven, people being taken, people being rushed into hospital, and many families are crying for uh, uh, the aftermath of people uh, being rushed to hospital. Listen to this, let's say, beautiful viewers. We we uh, we are to take it upon ourselves and and declare the word. Remember, the word of Lord is alive, it is spirit and is active. Hebrew four verse twelve. So when we declare the word that is alive, when we declare the word that is of spirit, when we declare the word that is active, the word of God penetrates. It says it says the word penetrates. The word penetrates. It breaks dividing line. It breaks dividing line. So there is nothing, nothing, nothing that can hold the word. Nothing that can come in compression with the word. Nothing can stand with the word. The word remains the word. The word is everlasting. The word is light. And when light comes, every unrighteousness, every darkness immediately, immediately gives way. So blessed, beautiful viewers, uh, let's pray. Let's commit our sundry into the hands of God. Let's pray that the glory of the Father locate everyone. Let's pray that the love of the Father locate everyone. Let's pray for those that are in pains in their body. Let's pray for those that are going through challenges. Let's pray for them, even those that do not love you, even those that stop speaking to you, those that hate you for no reason. Still pray for them. He said, pray for those who hate you. Pray for those who persecute you. He said, pray for those who plot, who scheme, those who thought evil against you. The Lord of God, he said, pray for them. That they that is that they will receive freedom in their mind. Remember, their mind, their mind is out of help. Their mind is out of help because their mind gave in to rulers and principality. So let's pray for them that the borrowed mind that uh, the enemy uses against them uh, be, uh, 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 let go of their minds. So let us pray and let us come together. Let's continue to pray. Let's continue to intercede. Never cease, never cease interceding for nation. Uh, do not begin 
to hold grudges against nation that you are not benefiting from the place of your, of your living because uh, 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 the, the councillor or the world chairman or the municipality are not meeting to your needs they don't tend up to your needs hence you're not going to pray for them no do not do not pray that kind of prayer do not withhold such prayer you are given the grace to set captivity free you have been given the grace to release captivity captivity from every yoke from every bandage from every shackles you have been given the grace to set mind the mind the mind the mind where the enemy uses to penetrate you've been given you've been given that freedom to penetrate into their mind and set captivity free so do not withhold the grace that you have been given unto blessed beautiful viewers do not say uh, you are yet to benefit from the society that you are yet to benefit from the nation that you are yet to benefit from the community hence you're not going to intercede for the nation you're not going to intercede for that community you're not going to intercede for that society do not pray such prayer rather pray for them pray for them you remember they were killing our, our glorious husband our glorious master jesus christ they nailed him to the cross but still jesus he intercedes for them saying father forgive them for they do not know what they are doing so they also do not know what they are doing they do not know who you are they do not know what they are doing but through your prayer through interceding for them they will come to know just as the soldier who pierced through the rib of the master and that moment that moment he acknowledges that they've wronged god that they have sinned against god by saying and admit, admitting he says in admission truly he is not an ordinary man he is from above he made an admission that means he confessed that jesus is lord so let's not withhold prayers because we are here to benefit from the community of the society uh, 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 such is not love remember we serve lo love we are of love we came out of love love born us love gave birth to us love made us we are made true and from love so let's show love let's do love and let's speak love and let love comes out of our mouth let's pray right now lord jesus we thank you in the mighty name of jesus christ we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, we give you all the adoration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your steadfast love in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for your steadfast love in the life of our leaders. We pray for all the leaders, every leaders, every leaders from all over the world, mighty God. For the world itself you made, the world you create, the world that you love, mighty God. We pray for all the leaders that are in the position of authority. We declare your grace. We declare your abundance grace upon them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare your faithfulness upon them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare, we declare your, your glory upon the minds of the leaders in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Leaders that yield to men's wisdom. Leaders that yield leaders that are giving into men's ways into men's wisdom into men's advice lord god almighty we speak your word we speak your word my libra kushi endi ribra kadubra rika dubra reke dushi endi rika dushi eti libra kadubra ka ante rakubra rakushi rakadishka rakadubra elebre dushka elibra dushka ande elibra kushi elebre dishka zebra kadushta zebra dushta zebra kushi elibri ke endi rika dushta rika dushta reke Dubre and Rakushte Rakista Rakadubra Rakadusha Lebre Kisu and Zebra Kushta Zebra Kushta Libre Kendi Zebra Kusha Libre Kendi Rika Dushta Atta We Rika Dushti Endi Rika Dubra and the Rika Dushti Endi Your word penetrate into the minds of the leader, mighty God. Your penetrating word penetrates into their mind, setting setting every captivity, every yoke of captivity of mind, setting them free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare your word upon every hospital. Every hospital we speak of your glory. Your glory overshadow those in the hospital, those that are feeling healed, those that are feeling sick in their body, those that are being tormented with all kind of sickness, all kind of infirmity. Lord God Almighty, we declare healing. We declare your presence. We declare your deliverance upon their lives into their body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare your glory upon the life of every children, every children, every school boy, those that are going to school, mighty Lord. We declare knowledge, wisdom, understanding into their minds in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare for your, your presence in the minds of the youth, in the minds of the youth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, we declare restoration upon homes, we declare restoration upon families in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. E libre kushe libre ke andre. E libre dushe libre kadushta. Zebre dushta, zebre kushta. 
consta zibra inde, zubra custa ata, zibra dulce libre que ande, racusta, racadista, racadubra, raqueduste libre que ande, raqueduste lebre dus que ande, zibra cadusta, zibra cadis que ande, zibra dusta, zibra ande, zibra custa ende, zibra custa libre que ande, recubra, requista, requedista, elebre dus que elibra dus que ande, zibra cadusta, zebre dusta ete, requeduste libre que ande, racusta, racadibra, cadusta ende, racusta libre que ende, zibra cadusta ete, zibra cadusta ata, we pray for communities, we pray for the society, love God Almighty, we pray for the nation, we pray that your glory overshadow the nation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, nation that is at war with Christian, libra custe ende, rica libra, rica duste, redubra, reduste, requedisque ete, ele reduste libre que ende, e libra custe libre que ande, e libra duste, e libra quisca ande, racubra custe libre que disca, zebra duste, zebra que disca, zebra que duste ende, zibra que duste ata, zibra que duste ende, e libra duste, e libra que ata, e libra duste, e libra custe libre que ende, racusta, racadista, racadibre que ende, zubra disca, zubra disca ete, zubra duste libre que ende, rica duste, rica libra, rica duste, e libra disca ende, e libra duste ata, e libra custe libre que ende, racadista, racadibre que duste ende, racubra duste libre custe ende, zibra que duste, zibra que ente, zibra custe, zibra duste libre que ende, rica duste, rica libra, rica duste ende, racadista, racadubra que duste ende, e libra custo, e libra duste, e libra custo libre que ende, racadusta, racadisca ente, rica duste, rica libra, rica duste ende, lebre duste, lebre disca, lebre duste libre que ende, e libra custo libre que ende, e libra custo libre que ata, racadusta, racadista ende, zibra cadista ende, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you Lord God Almighty, we thank you Abba Father, we thank you for your glory, we thank you for your love, we thank you for your faithfulness, we thank you for your kindness, we thank you for your goodness, we thank you for your mercy, we thank you Lord God Almighty, for indeed our redemption has come, we thank you for redeeming the land Lord God Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen, 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. 
For that wonderful, wonderful worship, Hallelujah! Glory to the Master. Thank you so much, uh, beautiful, blessed viewers. Uh, thank you for praying for us. Uh, thank you for praying with us. Uh, thank you uh, for setting captivity free. Thank you for praying for the nation. Thank you for praying for leaders from all over the world. Thank you for praying for those in hospital. Thank you for praying for every sundry. Listen to this: as we have prayed faithfully, so the yoke, the binding. The shackles and the affliction, and those who are being conformed with infirmity, sickness, and disease have been set free. Liberation has come, freedom has come. Remember, our Father is a covenant keeping God, He keeps His word, His word is everlasting, He is glorious, He remains everlasting, He changes not. He has no reason to change, He has no reason to change. As we have interceded for the nation, his glorious presence has taken over. As we have called him to show his loving, kind, tender kindness, his mercy he has begun to rewrite the health and the people in the earth. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, blessed, beautiful viewers. We thank you all. We thank you all. We welcome you all, those that are just joining. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being part of this uh, wonderful. Uh, wonderful uh, uh, fellowship uh, together in the presence of our glorious master Jesus Christ. Uh, we thank God. We thank God. Uh, we uh, just uh, a quick uh, uh, appreciation to our beloved father, Papa Le Secodane, and thanking him for uh, yesterday awesome time we had with him. It was glorious. Uh, it was uh, it was uh, 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 it was one that. Uh, uh, that will go a long way to touch many hearts. Uh, uh, if, there, if there was no conviction before, yesterday teaching should serve as a conviction to say, uh, really, we are made to bring people to Christ, uh, meaning we are saved to save others, meaning we, we are redeemed to redeem others. Uh, 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 it was wonderful and it was glorious, and we thank God for, for, for such an eye opening. We thank God for such a moment. Uh, we, we pray to remain in this awesome grace. We pray that we may remain in this awesome love. We pray that nothing, nothing, as the word of God says in Romans 8, from verse 32 to 35, we say, what can separate us from his love? We pray that we should remain in this love, remain inseparable from his love. We thank God. To God be the glory. Blessed, beautiful viewers. Let's quickly look to the book of Psalm. Uh, I, I love you so much. Let me quickly stop this. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Okay. I keep getting interruption there. Hallelujah. Uh, the book of Psalm. Um, Psalm. Okay, Psalm 103. Let's start with Psalm 103. Eh? Let's start with Psalm 103. Amen. Say, I love you, Jesus. 
Say, I love you, Jesus. I believe the Spirit of God does as He wills, and it seems that is at work here. Yeah. Uh, we thank God. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God. Psalm 103. Uh, I want. I want verse four, but start from verse one. It's fine. Mm. Psalms 103 from verse one. Yes. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. All my inmost being. All my what? My inmost. Being. My inmost being. Praise the Lord, oh my soul. Uh, I, I love you so much. Yesterday, uh, as I've said, as I was as I was saying earlier, uh, how uh, uh, our Father was taking us through that wonderful teaching, uh, Psalm fifty one. Uh, David, who also happens to be the author of what we are reading from now, uh, 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 begin to sh begin to show show us. Uh, uh, what what God said about him when when God sent Samuel uh, to David, uh, uh, I found uh, David, son of Jesse, uh, a man after my own heart. Uh, uh, David began to reveal what uh, uh, no one could uh, reveal. Uh, David even began to reveal what Moses Moses that walk with God. Moses walk with God. Yet Moses did not know these deep things that Moses was that David was uh, revealing. Uh, 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 David uh, uh, comes to accomplish that word, that very statement that was in First Samuel when God sent sent uh, 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 Samuel to the house of Jesse that I found me a king. His name is David. It's a man after my own heart. Listen to what he says. He said, "Let all that I am praise the Lord. Let all of him." Let all that he is, let all his being, his soul, his spirit, praise the Lord. Blessed, beautiful viewers, do not praise God, do not pray to God because you want to. Do not pray to God because you are, are, are facing a predicament. Do not pray or praise, praise God because of the situation that is in front of you. Listen to this. He said, let all that I am, nothing left all that I am, praise God. Let all that I am, praise God. Hmm? Read through there. Mm -hmm. Psalms 103 verse 1. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord my soul. Mm, praise the Lord oh my soul. All my inmost being. All my inmost being. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Mm. Praise the Lord my soul. Praise the Lord oh my soul. And forget not all his benefits. And do not forget the benefiting, the benefit of praising the Lord. Do not forget, there's a benefit from what? From praising the Lord. So those who praise the Lord, they receive benefit. And what is the benefit of praising the Lord? Hmm? What is the benefit of praising the Lord? He that did not spare his own son. Hmm? Go on there. Verse 2. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord my soul mm -hmm. and forget not all his benefits. Mm -hmm. Who forgives all your sins? Who forgives all your sins? He forgives all your sins. Uh, no, so meaning he forgives all your sins. Meaning there is there shall be no hindrance in praising with all your soul, with all your spirit, with all your heart. Meaning not there is no idol in your mind. Meaning, you have no idol in your mind. You you have no time to begin to idolize your problem. You have no time to begin to allow your problem to wade you, preventing you from praising the Lord with all your being. You say, I will praise Him with all. I will praise Him with all, with all the nothing. I will praise Him with all, all the heart. I will open myself to Him. I will give Him my all. For He gives His all. He gave his only begotten son. Never forget John 3 16. He gave his only begotten son as a ransom. Hmm? Go on there. Hmm. Psalm 103 from verse 2. Praise the Lord my soul mm -hmm. and forget not all his benefits. Mm -hmm. Who forgives all your sins mm -hmm. and heals all your diseases. And heals. Mm -hmm. he, he, did, he, he does not only forgive. Iniquity is out of the window. He also heals. He also healed you. He healed from 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 that from what sin has brought. 
He healed your mind. He healed your mind. Meaning, it's a lot of glory that gives. It's a lot of glory that takes. We understand yesterday how, how David pleaded not to be cast away from his presence. Not to be separated from his spirit. Because once the spirit of God departs, what comes, what enters into a person is the evil spirit. And evil spirit comes to torment. And how does evil spirit torment? It brought, it brought sickness. Evil spirit brought, brought sickness, brought depression. HIV. Cancers. These are what evil spirit brought upon upon the body of a person, the person that the, the Holy Spirit have departed from. But here comes our Redeemer. Hmm? Here comes our Redeemer, our Savior. Hmm? Go on, dear. Psalms are not full of this form. Hmm. Who redeems your life? Who redeems your life from the pit? From the pit. And crowns you with love and compassion. And crowns you. He redeemed our life from the pit. And crowned. He crowned us. After he redeemed us, he crowned us with what? With love. With love. And compassion. And compassion. So we are being crowned with love, with compassion. Meaning God himself is love. Hence we are saying, never stop praying for people because they hate you. Don't stop interceding for communities because you are here to be served by the municipality. Don't stop praying for nation because you don't want anything to do with that nation. Love does not ask. Love does. God never inquired from us about his love. He loved us regardless of the nature that we were born with. That's why he said, I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Jeremiah 1 said, I knew you before I formed you. Say, out of sin, out of sin you were formed. You were formed out of sin. But regardless, the love, the love never departs. Regardless, the love remains. Regardless of the nature that we are born, His love never departs. His love actually rescued us from the pit. The pit that was men, the pit that was in front, His love rescued us from that pit. Go on, dear. Psalms 103 verse 4. Mm. Who redeems your life from the pit? Who redeems your life from the pit? And crowns you with, the, with love. And crowns you with love. And compassion. So first of all, we are redeemed. And after we are redeemed, there's a crown now. The crown of life now comes. The perfection now comes. And when perfection comes, imperfection departs. So after being delivered, we have been crowned with life. We have been crowned with the perfect life. And who is this perfect life that came that we received the crown? First Timothy 2, verse 6. First Timothy 2, verse 6. Can, can you quickly just read there quickly? We're gonna come back to First Timothy 2, verse 6. Yeah? Mm. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 6. Mm. Who gave himself as a ransom for all people. Mm. This has now been witnessed to at the proper time. Who gave himself? Who is this that gave himself? Who is this that gave himself? How did Apostle Paul describe him in Ephesians 1 verse 7? Colossians 1, Colossians chapter 1, verse 12, 13, 14. He called him our restorer, our redeemer, our revealer. He is the one that came to crown us with life. So John 10, verse 10, he said, I have come with the crown of life. Anyone who believes receive this life. It's not just life, it's an abundance of life. It's the life of abundance. It's the life that does not diminish. Is the life eh, that is of priceless, the life that can never be taken. That's why Apostle Paul boldly says in 1 Corinthians 15, not everyone will die, but everyone will be transformed in this body. Not everyone will face death, but everyone will be transformed in this body. Uh, out of what boldness was he speaking from? Out of what knowledge was he speaking from? 
Out of what crown was he speaking from? The um, abundant life. That's why Jesus says in John 17, glorify me. Glorify me that they may be glorified. Hmm? Glorify me that they may be what? Glorified. Hmm? 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 Continue with Psalms. Hmm? Psalms 103 hmm? verse 5. Hmm? Who satisfies who your desires? Who satisfy? Your desires mm -hmm. with good things. With good with good things. So our 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 desire, mm, our desire is not about what we desire. Mm -mm. Listen to this. Jesus never go about for with or for his earthly desire. His desire set aside the moment the will of the Father came upon him. The moment the will of the Father came upon him, it was all about the will of the Father. It was no longer about his time. It was no longer about his desire. That's why he, he learned to separate his feelings his, his, from his emotion. He learned to separate himself from his friends. He learned to separate himself from his mother. He learned to separate himself from his brothers. He walked according to the will of the Father. So wherever the will of the Father goes, here he is. Wherever the, the will of the Father is, you will find him there. So they look for him. Say, We've been searching for you. No, 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 no. I'm about the will of my Father, not about you. You are searching, but no, I am about the will of my Father, not about your will, about the will of my Father. Where the will of my Father goes, there I will be. It was no longer about his desire, it was no longer about the master needs. His needs come second to the will of the Father. This is what this Christian of today should also follow. This is, you say, the, the, the requirement that needs. No, no, no. This is the standard that Jesus uh, lay for us. Remember Ephesians 4, verse 12. He said, He caused gift upon men to be apostles, prophets, for intention of what? For all, all to raise to the standard height of Christ. What is the standard of the height of Christ? Love. What is love? Love does according to the will of the Father. Love does not question. Love never questions the will of the Father. Love does not begin to question what the Father, uh, 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 what, what, what he, what he needs. No, no, no. Love does the will of the Father. So Jesus, in the moment the will of the Father came upon him, the Christ, Came upon him, the will of God came upon him. Christ is the will of God. Now, the moment the, the will of God came upon Jesus, it was all about the will of God. He was being led by Christ. When they sent for him that his friend was dying, no, 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 no. That time has passed. The first 30 years, I was with you, I was going places with you. You know me, I know you. No, now the will of the Father. The will of the Father has come upon me. So Luke 4, 18, he said, The Spirit of God Almighty has anointed him. Meaning the will of the Father has come upon him. The will of the Father has come upon him. Many Christians today carry the will of the Father, but yet they want to lead the will of the Father. Many obtain the will of the Father through grace and mercy. Because how, how do we receive this? It's not by our hard work. Ephesians 2, the same Ephesians 2, verse 6. What did he say there? By grace we receive, by grace we are saved. Many receive this. Many have received this will of the Father. But they want to lead the will of the Father. That's where it becomes impossible. You can you be in the mortal body wants to lead the invisible. No, no. You have to represent what, what is unseen. So it is what is unseen that is at work, being seen through you. That's why Apostle Paul said, it is no longer him. It is no longer I who speak. It is no longer I who talk. It is no longer I who walk. It is no longer I that is active. It is the world. Hebrews 4 verse 2. It is the world that is active. It is the world that is spirit. It is the world that is life. It is no longer I, but the world. So, what makes a Christian think... Uh, because I'm a title order, I'm a title bearer, then I will do as I please. No, no, no. You are singing against the nature of the one you are supposed to lead you. Listen, Jesus lived to the fullness. 
according to the will of the Father. He lived to the fullness. He continued to show to us how we must know and understand and live according to the will of God. Repeat verse 4 and 5. Psalm 103. Yeah. Psalms 103 from verse 4. Mm -hmm. Who redeems your life? Who redeems your life? From the pit. From the pit. And crowns you with love and compassion. A and crowns you with love and what? And compassion. First of all, he redeems, he redeems you. Hmm? Romans 6, when you start reading from verse 6. Hmm? Ephesians 2, also verse 6. Hmm? Colossians 1, verse 12, verse 13, verse 14. Hmm. Our restorer, our redeemer. He redeemed us <laughs> from the pit. <laughs> Remember, in, in sin we were born. Right? In sin we were born. We were conceived in sin. Meaning there's a pit that await us. But now the plan of God came now in John 3 16. Now we know in Daniel 10, we understand in Daniel 10. We also know in Exodus 19, Exodus 23, Exodus 32, we understand how a, a, a Moses pleaded not to be taken out of this glory. We understand how even Moses saw the glory, but Moses could not control his temper. Do you see? Moses could not control his temper. He saw a bit of the glory. Not all. He only saw a bit of the glory. God said, I will pass. You will not see me full. I will pass. You will not see me. I will pass. But you will not see me full. You will only see my back. You will not see me full. Because of, because, because of the love God has for him. And because he was destined to, to bring the love of God upon the people of Israel. Remember, uh, 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 the covenant that God made through him with the people of Israel, Israelites in Exodus 3. When the angel of the Lord led him to the burning bush, he, he, he saw something interesting there. And he, he began to he began to he began to 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 uh, go for it. He saw something very interesting, very intriguing. And the angel of the Lord led him led him there now what happened when he got there the lord said moses you have arrived <laughs> meaning it was a fixed date moses you have arrived <laughs> moses was shocked huh? who are you how do you know my name how no moses the fixed date you have entered into the fixed date moses you have arrived come i have heard the cry of my people god called them my people you see he loved them regardless regardless of the manner regardless of their character god knew god knew that their love has to be tested to find out the genuity of their love that's why he took them through hardship he took them through the desert for their love to be tested but the love of god remained genuine the love of god never fed remember in steadfast he said that steadfast love the steadfastness of the love never ceases to amaze us. It, it, listen, it never ceases to amaze. Even in, in the desert, he walked with them. He was there with them. The sun was with them. God, the presence of God was, was with them as they walked in that desert. When they cried for food, they toiled for food. He provided for them. Even in their human hand, he provided for them. So Moses saw where impossibility became possible. Moses witnessed how something that is made, that something that is beyond human comprehension, Moses began to realize. That's why Moses never looked back. When God was leading him and the people of Israel, he was going and he was focusing on the divine mighty hand that, is up, that was upon him. That's why when the Israelites were crying to him to say, Hey, Moses, Moses, here comes Pharaoh and his people. They are upon us. He was not looking. He was not looking. No, he, you have seen. Uh, listen, you have seen where my rod turned to snake. You have seen where the sea parted. You have seen great things. Yet, you are worried about things that has no lasting value. So, his focus was straight ahead. So, and when God caused the sea to close, he looked now. That was when he looked to them and said to them, The Egyptian you see, you see them no more. 
Because he is a redeemer. The redeemer always redeemed. <laughs> The Redeemer always redeemed. The Redeemer never fails. The Redeemer always redeems. Hmm? So I love you, Jesus. Okay. Uh, where are we now? Psalms 103, verse 5. Psalm 103, verse 5. Eh? Can you just put your finger there and quickly take us through uh, uh, Isaiah 47? Isaiah 47. Hmm? I want also verse 4, but uh, start from verse 1, is fine. Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 47, mm -hmm. from verse 1. Mm -hmm. Go down, mm -hmm. sit in the dust, mm -hmm. virgin daughter Babylon. Mm -hmm. Sit on the ground without a throne. Sit on the ground without a throne. Mm -hmm. Queen city of the Babylonians. Mm -hmm. No more will you be called tender or delicate. Or delicate, mm -hmm. Take my stones and grind flowers. Mm -hmm. Take off your veil. Take off your veil. Lift up your skirts, bare mm -hmm. your legs, mm -hmm. and wade through the streams. And wade through the streams. Mm -hmm. Verse 3. Mm -hmm. Your nakedness will be exposed. Will be exposed. Mm -hmm. And your shame uncovered. And your shame uncovered. I will take vengeance. I will take vengeance. I will spare no one. I will spare no one. Verse 4. Mm -hmm. Our Redeemer, our Redeemer, the Lord Almighty is the, His name. The Lord Almighty is His name. Our He's Redeemer, our Redeemer, the Lord God Almighty is His name. Listen to that. Our Redeemer, the Lord God Almighty is His name. He has a name. He's the Lord of Glory. He is our Redeemer. He is our Redeemer, and He redeemed us through His Son. Listen, they went through all dusty. They went through all thick and thin. They went through all hardship. But those who transgress against them, they will not be spared when the Redeemer comes. Listen, you are living in a society where now they begin to say it is forceful uh, uh, vaccination. Uh, 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 Just as no one forced salvation upon anyone, no one can force vaccination on anyone. But when they try, listen, when they try, what uh, what would they do? They, they, would, they would rather stop you from, 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 from work. Uh, but God is the provider. It is God that provides. But when they try, the Redeemer will come and he will not spare he will not spare whatever atrocity, whatever atrocity that was committed or was planned or schemed against you. He is our Redeemer, the Lord God of glory. Can you repeat that, that verse? Mm. Isaiah 47, mm. verse 4. Mm. Our Redeemer, mm. the Lord Almighty, mm. is His name. Is His name. Is the Holy One of Israel. Is the Holy One. Can you, look, can you use the amplified version there, please? Thank you. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 47, yeah. verse 4. Yeah. Our Redeemer, mm -hmm. the Lord of hosts, is his name. Mm -hmm. The Holy One of Israel. Is the Holy One of Israel. Mm -hmm. Verse 5. Mm -hmm. Sit in silence. Sit in where? In silence. In silence. And go into darkness. And go into darkness. O daughter of the Chaldeans. O who? Daughter of the Chaldeans. O daughters of the Chaldeans. For you shall no more be called the lady and mistress of kingdoms. Uh -uh. You will no longer be called names. You will no longer be accused. You will no longer be pointed at. When the Redeemer comes, when the Redeemer comes, your sorrow ends. When your Redeemer comes, the hatred, the scheme, the plot, the plans, it ends. Your sickness ends. When the Redeemer come and it will, he, he has come. When you accept him, when you accept the Redeemer, when you accept Christ, when you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then you see John 10, 
John chapter 10 verse 10. You see, you see it coming to fulfillment in your life. You will begin to receive the super abundant life. It is a fulfilled promise. It is a fulfilled word. For everyone that receives such life, walk according to the will of the Father. For everyone that receives such life, walk what? According to the will of the Master. Go back there to uh, Psalm 103. Psalms 103 from verse 4. Mm. Who redeems your life? Who redeems your life? From the pit and corruption. From the pit and corruption. Who beautifies? Mm -hmm. Who beautifies? Dignifies. Who, who, this, uh, say that again. Who, who beautifies? Who beautifies? Dignifies. Dignifies. And crowns you. And crowns you. Remember first. Kindness. Remember first Peter what? We, we are being brought, you say, we are saved, not of corruptible seed. The seed is the word. The word is Christ. So, it, it, uh, we are saved from incorruptible. So, every corrupt nature and every corrupt mind. That's where the word of the Lord says, if the first place a man prosper is right here in the mind. The mind. If the mind is held captive, Whatever, whatever word is being ministered to such mind becomes impenetrated because the mind is being held captive. That's why when we intercede, we pray, every captivity of the mind be broken. The creep, the, the, the creep that the enemy uses to hold will speak the life light. Because when perfect love comes, imperfection depart. The righteous judge, the life light comes, darkness departs. God was working in the mind of in the in the mind of Simon Peter. After he, after he have seen as after he was sent to go and take a, a, a denounce from the mouth of the fish. After he has spoken, when the Spirit of God, the blood of Christ came upon him, and he was able to identify the Master to say, "You are the Messiah, Son of the Living God." What prompted him to say, I will make sure that the will of the Father will not manifest. When the Master says, the time is upon me when I will be taken away from you. Say, no, 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 they have to come through me. They have to come through me. And Jesus, Jesus, uh, he was no respecter of man. He was no respect. He was no respecter of age. He was no respecter of parents or anyone. Nothing, nothing stands between him and the will of God. Nothing stands between him and the will of God. Not even death. Not even death. No, you now want to come and 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 in that eh, the will of God. Eh? That's why he addressed him. That's what he was addressed as Satan. He was not addressed as the rock. Caiaphas, he was not addressed as Peter, he was not addressed as Simon, he was addressed as Satan. Get behind me quickly. The will of God, the will of God must surely prevail. Nothing can withstand the will of God. Nothing can come between the will of God. For he left his parents, he left his mother, he left his brothers for the will of God. He left his loved ones those who watched him as he grew, the brothers, the mother, the father Joseph, he left them for the will of his father. So when the will of God happens on earth here, many believers quickly began to run. And you are running to unbelieving generation. You seek help from an unbeliever. How is it possible for a believer to seek help from an unbeliever? What 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 will a man benefit to gain, to gain, to gain, to gain, to gain, and lose the soul? And lose the soul. What will a man what will it profit a man? What profit will you get from running from to unbelievers? 
Is, is, is there help that comes from an unbelieving generation? Hmm? It's, the only thing that comes from unbelieving from unbeliever is cause. Jeremiah 17, verse 5 to 7. Say, cause is the one who seek help from a man. It's only cause that comes from such person. Go on there. Psalms 103 from verse 4. Who redeems your life from the pit and corruption? Mm. Who beautifies, dignifies, mm. and crowns you with loving kindness mm. and tender mercy? Mm. Who satisfies your mouth, mm -hmm. your necessity and desire mm. at your personal age mm. and situation mm. with good so that your youth renewed is like the eagle strong so that your youth renewed is like what the eagle strong the eagle strong overcoming overcoming and sorry and sorry okay verse six mm -hmm. the lord executes righteousness the lord executes righteousness and justice and justice not for me only not for me only but for all mm -hmm. who are oppressed. For all who are oppressed. Cha, 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 cha. He executes not for him only. So through his death, those who are oppressed were being saved. So Saul was oppressing him. Saul was oppressing those who receive him. Saul was oppressing those who receive him. Saul was oppressing believers. And when he came to Saul, where are you persecuting me? Why are you persecuting me? What have I done to, to you that you are persecuting me? Unknown to Saul, where did I persecute you? How can I even persecute you, you that I don't see, yet you are speaking? You touch a believer, you touch me. So whoever forced anything on you, for, touch God. Now, let me ask you this. Can anyone battle with the Lord? Can anyone touch the Lord of glory? Can anyone touch the Redeemer? Listen to this quickly. Just hold it, hold it right there. Open the uh, Isaiah. Isaiah 54. Eh? Mm. Uh, read for verse 5. Mm. Isaiah 54, verse uh. 5. For your maker mm -hmm. is your husband. Mm -hmm. The Lord of hosts is his name. Uh, 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 repeat. For your maker is mm -hmm. your husband. From your for for, for, for your maker. Your maker mm -hmm. is your husband. Is your husband? The Lord of hosts is his name. The Lord of hosts is what? His, his name. name. Mm -hmm. And the Holy One of Israel. And the Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer. Is your Redeemer. Now, hold on there. Who is the Holy One of Israel? And who is our Maker? Ephesians 1, from verse 4. We were chosen in the world, in the Maker. We were chosen in the Maker. We were chosen in the Maker. I want you to understand this. We were chosen in the maker. Remember, the maker was there. He, through him, everything came into. Through him, everything came into existence. Without him, nothing, nothing would have happened. The, uh, John one, when you read the book of John one, from verse one. Eh? Without him, nothing would have happened. Without him, nothing would have happened. Meaning, there could, there wouldn't have been any manifestation without the maker without the maker so when god was busy planning for our generation it was through the maker that's why daniel peeped through the book in daniel 10 and god said close that book close that book no you did not qualify eh, to come through this maker now now the maker the maker redeem us to the father he reconcile us to the father he reconcile us to the father he reconcile us to our redeemer just as the father redeems him hebrews 9 
it was the blood of Christ that went in into the pit into the pit where the body was kept the blood of Christ went there and rose him and rose him from death redeem his body then life came life came it was also the blood of Christ that came upon 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 a uh, 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 Simon upon Simon that when Jesus asked who do you say I am and who did they say I am it was the blood of Christ that came the blood of the Father that came that's why Jesus had to say to him flesh and blood did not reveal that to you but the Redeemer my Father my Father he is the one that caused you to be able to identify because the, the son see the spirit of the father in Simon Peter. That's why the name Simon Peter came upon him. Because he revealed Colossians 1. When you take it from verse 12, 13, 14, he revealed, he restored, he redeems. His blood purifies. Tonight, many will be purified. Many bodies will be purified. Many bodies will be purified from mortality to immortality. Tonight, many unbelievers will become believers in the world. Tonight, this word will penetrate into the minds of many. And as you are watching, as you are listening, any form of sickness that have held you bound before now, freedom comes right now. For your husband, the maker, has come. He has come to redeem you to the Father. Your husband, our husband, Christ, our husband has come to redeem us. To restore us and to reveal us to the master. Hmm? Uh, repeat there and finish there. Isaiah 54 from verse 5. Hmm. For your maker is your husband. Hmm. The Lord of hosts is his name. Mm -hmm. And the Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer. And your and what? Your Holy One. Your Holy One of Israel. Of Israel is your Redeemer. Is your Redeemer? The God of the whole earth. The God, called. the God of who? Of the whole of earth. Of the whole earth, yeah. He is called. The God of the whole earth, he is what? Called. He is called. He's called the God of the whole earth. He is <laughs> the maker and creator of all things. Everything, everything comes from the Father. Every non, uh, every living and non living thing comes from the Father. Uh, 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 Isaiah 45 verse 7 said, Light I made, darkness I create. It was necessary for the Father to make light because light will remain. It was necessary for the Father to create light so that light will reign out of darkness. The light shines out of darkness. The light emanates out of darkness. If darkness was not created, light will remain. Nothing, nothing will prove that it is light. Nothing will show to the world that it is light. The Pharisees and the Sadducees, they were created to reveal him. That's why Nicodemus came and said, We know, we know, we know, we know, we know. He never said, I know. He said, We know. We know who you are. The things that you are doing, the things that you are speaking, the things that you are preaching, the things that you are teaching. Listen, we know for it is written. Meaning he was, he was admitting, he was confessing. And when you confess him as the Lord and Savior, you are redeemed. So Nicodemus also received redemption. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Nicodemus also was redeemed. As soon as he confessed. So understand what was happening there. The same John 3, 31, 34. Spirit bed spirit. And the one that from above speak from above. So what the son was speaking, he was representing the father. The father operating in the son. Here comes admission. We know. Remember, he took the scroll from them. Right in the presence of everyone. Nicodemus was there when he took the scroll. And it's read from the same scroll that they were keeping, the same book that they kept 
at their disposal. The same book that they claim to be keeping in a safe place. The same book that they see as holy. You know, many people today, they see Bible as holy. They see Bible as holy. They sleep with Bible. They put Bible under their pillows when they are sleeping. They don't pray, but they put Bible under their pillows. They, just like the Pharisees and the Sadducees were behaving at that point in time. But not understanding what the scripture, the scroll that they kept, not understanding what was written in there. Until he came and, and read. And after he read, they were astonished. They begin to look. Whose son is this? Where does he emanate from? The light comes out of darkness. The light emanates out of darkness. Out of darkness, the light shines. That's why in the thick, in the thick wilderness, in the thick bush that 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 God uh, brought Moses to in Exodus three, you understand it was thick dark cloud. It was thick dark cloud. When Moses entered that dark cloud, there was light. There was there was bright light. Moses could not understand. Here there was light. Out there there was thick dark cloud, but here there was light. So I love you, Jesus. So I love you, Jesus. Repeat that verse. Isaiah 54 from verse 5. Mm. For your maker is your husband. Mm -hmm. The Lord of hosts is his name. Mm -hmm. And the Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer. And the Holy One of Israel is who? Your Redeemer. Your Redeemer. The God of the whole earth he is called. The, the what? The God mm -hmm. of the whole earth mm -hmm. he is called. Mm -hmm. Verse 6. For the Lord has called you mm -hmm. like a woman forsaken. Like a woman forsaken. Mm -hmm. Grieved in spirit. Grieved in spirit. And heart so. And heart so. Mm -hmm. Even a wife. <coughs> Even a wife. Wooed upon. Woo, woo upon. Uh -huh. Is in youth. Is in youth. When she is later refused and scorned, says uh -huh. the Lord. Uh -huh. For a brief moment I forsook you. But with great compassion and mercy, mm -hmm. I will gather you to me again. I will what? I will gather you. I will gather you to me again. To me again. Listen to that. I will gather you to me again. I will pull you to me again. I will draw you to myself. I will draw you to myself. I will draw you to myself. That is, I will draw you to myself. So we see Ephesians 2 from verse 6. It is not our work. No, no, no. It is not by our hard work. It says there, it is not by our hard work. It is not how good you, 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 have, um, uh, 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 you have a speaking skill, ability to, to, to speak, ability to write, ability to write, to speak. No, that is not the criteria of being saved. It is by grace. It is by grace. Not by ability. Not by ability. That this has always been the intention of God. To to draw to draw people to himself. He wants he, 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 he desire to draw uh, the Israelites. To himself, but because of the nature, because of the nature of their mind, hmm, the world called them stiff naked. Hmm? Hmm? Stiff naked. The nature of their mind prevented them from entering into his glorious presence where he has prepared. So the plan of the Lord, uh, the plan of God remain in the Son. That's why Jesus said in John 14, I am the way, the only way. No one, no one goes to the Father except through Him. It's the gateway to the Father. The gateway to the Father. The gateway to the Father. Let's go back to Psalm 103. We'll begin with Mm -hmm. Came to minister right now. Psalms 103 verse 4. Psalm 103 verse 4. 
Who redeems your life from the pit and corruption? Uh -huh. Who redeems your life from pit and corruption? Mm -hmm. Who beautifies? Who beautifies? Dignifies. Dignifies. And crowns you with loving kindness. And crowns you with what? Loving, loving kindness. kindness. And mm -hmm. tender mercy. And tender mercy. Who Ooh. satisfies your mouth? Who's, who satisfies your mouth? Your necessity and desire. Yeah, who, who provides for you? Eh? Eh, who provides for you? The bread of Almighty has made me strong. So the bread that uh, uh, Adam received did not make Adam strong because Adam did not receive the full bread. Adam did not, Adam did not partake in the fruit of life. He, he went for the the, 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 the the tree of knowledge of good and evil. He did not receive the full bread. As nature, nature came to his mind and he began to walk according to nature. So a believer must be must be alert. A believer must be alert in his or her mind. Let the world that is active always be active. And there's no way the world can, can be active if you are not meditating upon the world. Meditation is to bring things into reality. Meaning you are feeding the world, making it to become more active in your mind. Taking the, its rightful place in your mind. Meaning there is nothing that is meant to, to, to interfere. To interfere in your mind. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. For every challenges that you are going through, listen to this, we are going to minister right now. For every situation that you are going through, for whatever that is happening in your body, the world, the spirit, the life, the active world is going to be performed right now. Remember, Jeremiah 1, I will watch to see that I perform my words. Hmm? Uh, 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 Jeremiah did not receive the seed. He only saw the branch. Without seed, there will be no branch. Remember that. Without seed, there will, no, there will be no branch. The word is the seed. The seed is the word. And the word is Christ. So right now, you are about to receive the seed, the word, the Christ, upon your bodies, in your life right now. It is a word that is about to come upon the rooftop of where you are right now, penetrating from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. It is the word of the Lord that has come right now to set captivity free. It is the word of the Lord that has come penetrating into your mind, setting you free from every yoke of affliction, breaking that shackles of limitation, that shackles of disappointment, setting your mind free from worries, setting your mind free from every cause. It is the word of God that has located your body right now. Removing that sickness, that infirmity, that illness. Removing you from that disease. Removing you from that that come to kill, to steal, and to destroy your body. It is the word of God that has come to set you free. Amen. 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 Finish that, finish that, quickly. Psalms 103 verse 6 uh, verse 5 uh, who satisfies your mouth uh, your necessity and desire uh, at your personal age uh, and situation uh, with good so that your youth renewed uh, is like the eagle strong uh, overcoming and soaring uh, the Lord executes righteousness and justice uh, not for me only. Not for me only. But for all who are oppressed. But for all who are oppressed. Not for me only. But for all who are oppressed. Right now, everyone that is being oppressed from one issue or the other right now. I declare upon your life right now. It is a light, light of God that has come right now. As the word says, Jeremiah 15. Can you read Jeremiah 15 verse 21 quickly? Before we pray, Jeremiah 
15 to 23. Jeremiah 15 verse 21. Ah. And I will deliver you out of the hands of the wicked. I will deliver you from out of the hand of the wicked. And I will redeem you. And I will redeem you out of the pangs. Out of the pangs of the terrible. Of the terrible and ruthless tyrant. And ruthless tyrant. Ruthless tyrant. Whatever tyrant that we are facing in your community, at the society of your of your living, in in in, in your state whatever kind of tyrant you are faced with in your nation right now the maker our husband has come to deliver you the husband has come to deliver you to set you free and to reconcile you to God the husband has come right now Lord God Almighty we give you all glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ thank you for your faithfulness thank you for your mercy thank you for your love your word has come upon every and sundry, as many that are watching and as many that are going to watch. Freedom has located them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That captivity that held them bound right now, set them free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your word break loose, your word remove, your word set them free and begin to uh, you begin to liberate their minds right now. Your, your minds are being liberated right now. The righteousness of Christ locate every asunder right now. Every unrighteousness departs from their body. Every unrighteousness departs from their life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every unrighteousness departs from their ways. Every unrighteousness departs from their system. Every unrighteousness departs from their heart. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The righteousness of Christ has come upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As many that are watching. As many that are, that are going to watch. The word of God that is active, <laughs> the word, the life light of God that never departs, the life light of God that does all things, bringing impossibility to become possible right now, begin to perfect their lives, begin to perfect their minds in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We command every sickness to depart from their body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We command all diseases, even the disease giver. Every sickness from his root, every disease from his root, all in, all infirmity from their root right now, depart from their body, depart from their life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What is causing that sickness by the root, depart from their body, depart from their life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That infirmity departs from their life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The root cause of that infirmity departs from their ways, depart from their life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is the Lord of glory that has come upon their life right now, setting captivity free. It is the life, the light of God that has come from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, liberating their bodies, liberating their mind from every yoke of captivity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hardship departs from their ways. Hardship departs from their ways. Lack departs from their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lack departs from their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever that is causing lack, depart from your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Injuries give way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever that hindered you from receiving from the Lord of glory, depart, depart. We set you free right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Freedom has penetrated upon your body. Freedom has come into your mind in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever that is injuring you right now, hinders you no more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Freedom of Lord penetrate into your body right now. Perfect will of God penetrate into your body right now. The will of the Father brings his perfection, his fullness upon your life right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every unrighteousness give way. Every unrighteousness give way. Every unrighteousness give way. It is a life, the light of God that has come over your body. It is a life, the light of God that has come penetrating into your body. Darkness departs. Darkness departs from your life. Darkness departs from your ways in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Darkness departs from your ways, departs from your family, from your loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The glory of the Lord overshadows you in your ministry. The glory of the Lord overshadows your family. The glory of the Lord overshadows your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The glory of the Lord continues to speak of his abundance unto your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Whatever you touch right now, the glory of the Lord overshadows you. Whatever you go, the glory of the Lord overshadows you. Whatever plan, whatever plot, whatever scheme that is being pitted against you, the glory of the Lord overshadows you. Whatever your name is being mentioned, the glory of the Lord overshadows you. Whatever evil that is being used against you, whatever witchcraft, whatever witchcraft that is being used, set against you, the glory of the Lord overshadows you. From every witchcraft manipulation, the glory of the Father overshadows you. The glory of the Lord that has come to set you free from that pit has come. The glory of the Lord that comes to rescue you from that pit has come. The glory of the Lord that comes to set you free has come over your life. Redeeming your life from that pit. Setting you free from that pit. Setting you free from that pit. The glory of the Lord is taking you out of that pit right now. Every pit that is being pitted against your life, the pit that is being pitted against your family, against your well wishers, against your ministry, the pit that is being pitted against your finances, against your career, against your business, against your well-being, against your mind, the glory of the Lord has come. The Father, the Maker, the Husband, the World, the Christ has come upon your life right now. Delivering you from that pit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have been set free from that pit. You have been delivered from that pit. You have been rescued from that pit. You have been restored from that pit. You have been reviewed and reconciled to the glory of the Father. Right now, begin to experience freedom. Freedom that has come upon your life. Freedom that has come to take its rightful place in your mind, in your heart. Freedom of the Lord has come upon your body. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. You have been set free. You have been made whole. You have been blessed. You have been saved. And you are delivered from the pit. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to the Master. 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 Amen. 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 We believe that uh, many many have been set free. We know and we trust God that many have been delivered. We know and we trust God that many have been uh, are set free from every captivity. We know and we trust God that uh, His word has gone ahead. Uh, uh, His word has gone to overshadow many uh, from the pit. We give God all the glory. We continue to give Him thanks for His faithful. Uh, his word uh, it remains everlasting in our life. So right now we're going to uh, usher those that want to receive him and those that want to remain in him and those who want to have a relationship with him. We are going to reconcile them to our glorious God. We are going to marry them to the Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So you want to give your life to Christ? You want to serve him in truth? You want to serve him in holiness? said it is it, it is important extremely important for one to be born again remember the knowledge that man acquired from men is not enough the wisdom that one acquired true gift is not enough so uh, uh, Nicodemus made it clear there to say we know but now these things that we know, how can we have such experience? How can we begin to speak the way you speak? How can we begin to do what you do? How can we begin to act the way you act? How can we begin to perform, bringing the world into performance? Except a man be born of truth and spirit. Not baptism of repentance, but baptism of Christ. We saw also how Cornelius receives such baptism. God loves you, bless you, beautiful verse. Never, never doubt his love. His love never fails. His love is everlasting. His love is everlasting. His love is everlasting. So you want to reconcile to the Father? You want to give your life to the Father? Say he's more than willing. Say he is more than willing. He is more than willing. He is more than willing. So you want to give your life to him. Say this prayer after us. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. Thank you for dying for me. 
and you rose on the third day. Lord Jesus, I know in my heart and I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord, that you are my Savior. You died for me and you delivered me from the pit. Thank you for your deliverance. Thank you for rescuing me. Thank you for restoring me. Thank you for revealing me to the Father. Thank you for redeeming my life. I'm now born again. The hold has come. As I'm being purified, as I'm being cleansed, as I'm being washed by your word, the blood of your word that purifies me and set me free from sins and sorrow. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I love you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen and amen. You are welcome. As you confess this, the spirit of the world never departs. Even if you watch this tomorrow, next tomorrow, and you confess this prayer, I'm saying we are saying that you are welcome. You are welcome. You are redeemed. You are restored. And you are revealed to our glorious God. You begin to experience his visitation. You begin to have dreams and vision from above. You begin to speak as from one that is from above. Remember, spirit but spirit. And one that is from above, speak from above. You begin to do according to the will of the master. You begin to act on behalf of the master. You begin to function like the master. Thank you so much, blessed, beautiful viewers. Uh, listen to this quick announcement. Listen to this. I want to say thank you to, to all those who have been uh, uh, sending their testimonies. And uh, we believe that more testimonies are coming. Keep sending those testimonies to the glory of, of the Father. Uh, the more you send, the more uh, the more you receive more of His glory. The more you are uh, uh, open up to His wholeness. Uh, the more we are being made whole mm, for, for being a testifier. Uh, thank you so much. And also if you want to uh, partake uh, in, in terms of uh, sowing a seed, or giving to this ministry, uh, you can equally use the the, the the contact numbers that are available on the page there. Uh, when you call, we will tell you how to go about it. Uh, listen to this. The Lord has provided. Okay, uh, uh, we do not want to rob you of His blessing. Uh -uh. We do not want to rob you of the blessing. So when we say when we say if you want to give, it's a way of blessing you. It's a way of blessing you. It's a way of lifting, lifting you out of poverty. Uh, uh, remember, uh, 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 in John 6, uh, Jesus taught for over three days. And he saw that uh, we were tired from listening to him. But the that was teaching, he was never tired. Then he looked up to Philip and said, Where can we get a, a, a bakery to buy them bread? And Philip looked at the multitude and looked at the master and said, Hey, master, do you know what you are saying? Do you know what they're saying? Even if you have to feed these people, the wage to feed them will take the whole year, will take the whole 12 months. Wouldn't they have died of the hunger that was upon them if they had to wait for a whole year before they would get fed? Who, how many of them will survive? I bet you no one will survive if they had to wait, if they had to go by the way and the, and the idea of Philip. Knowing what is in his heart, Jesus Christ tested him. Jesus Christ what tested him. So in all in all, we are tested in a so uh, 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 when Jesus asked him and his response. His response was like Rabbi, we have to work for a whole full year. And that work for a whole full year will not be enough to feed them. Meaning they have to work two, three years to be able to feed multitudes that were hungry at that time. And what is it that the medical practitioners are saying? The medical practitioner says hunger is even deadlier than HIV. They say someone that is suffering from hunger is 99.9% likely to die before someone that is suffering from HIV AIDS. Medical practitioner says that. So, so, uh, but at, at, at what Jesus said, what is it that you have? A boy came up and presented what? Loaf and fish. So, Jesus has been teaching himself the word to the multitude. So, he also, all I have to say was, thank you, Father. And the word became multi and, and, and became multiplied. And multiplication came. So, we do not want to rob you from the blessing of multiplication. 
Remember Malachi 3 verse 10. Would no want to rob you from the floodgates of rain that, that is caused by our maker, our father, our redeemer. And whoever is whoever obeys his word, whoever obeys his teaching, whoever obeys his command, <laughs> such a person walk with his abundance. So this is why we we sometimes we teach this. Um, uh, we, we 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 teach this for for others to to be blessed, for others to uh to to receive His fullness. Remember, we are blessed to bless others. We are redeemed to redeem others. We are saved to save others. Um, tomorrow we continue at a, a, at our father's house. Wonderful teaching yesterday. Blessed, beautiful viewers. If you have not watched it, go to YouTube, go to Facebook. Go and watch it and uh, I'm telling you the Spirit of God will minister to your heart. The Spirit of God will speak to your mind as you watch it. It's, it's, it's very essential that every man and woman of God watch that uh, uh, that uh, uh, Harvest Mentality uh, yesterday edition. It was a season to remember. Uh, it is one that will uh, 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 bring your mind at peace to say, listen, do the work of the Father and lead people to the father don't lead people to yourself but to the father he knows it all he sees it all listen you do your your best is to lead people to him his best is to cause his grace to happen okay. tomorrow we continue there from half past 11 join us if you if you kill if you if you could uh use the zoom link that they'll be providing on the on every social media platform we'll be live at at uh, television of course we'll continue on saturday uh to worship and, and dance and glorify uh the lord god almighty and on sunday uh, it's going to be a day of worship we will be here live on rabbi Knight international ministries we'll be live here uh from half past uh, from nine in the morning we'll be live uh, from nine in the morning and we'll continue again on monday on Monday, uh, blessed, beautiful viewers, we, uh, we thank God for, we, as you all know, uh, although they said it's over today, we do not know, maybe for now, we do not know. Uh, we know the man-made man uh, pandemic, the man-made pandemic always strikes when, when, whenever. Okay, so we do not know what's going to happen on Monday, uh, but we will we'll observe and watch and see what time we will be having a, a, a Bible class on Monday. Uh, we'll let you know on Sunday. We'll let you know on Sunday, blessed, beautiful viewers. Uh, on Wednesday, we come back again by the grace of God. After Tuesday, with uh, uh, fellowshipping with the Father, we we'll return back on Wednesday as we continue with the service. Remember, it, it is uh, the month of your redemption has come. Uh, we thank God for the grace that redeemed us. We thank God for the grace that uh, rescued us from the pit. Uh, we'll continue again next week, Thursday, as we continue to minister the grace. I want to say thank you so much, blessed, beautiful viewers. We love you. God loves you. Thank you for making time to be with us. Let's continue to fellowship together. Let's continue to pray for one another. Let's continue to thank God for his mystery, uh, for, for his wonderful love in our life, in your life. Let's continue to give him thanks for what he, he has uh, uh, set for, for the nation. Uh, listen to this. Listen to this, blessed, beautiful verse. Uh, uh, thank, thank you for your prayers for the nation. Thank you for the prayer for the world. Thank you for interceding for the community. For we know a change has happened. We know a change has happened. He said, I will watch and see that my world comes into performance. So the performing world has come into the world, into the nation, and into the community. Addiction, those who are suffering from addicts, addicts have been set free. Those that are going through all kinds of difficulties, challenges in their home, they are being restored. Those that are going through pits in their home, even in hospital, they are being restored. It is through our prayer. So I want to say thank you so much for uh, for this wonderful opportunity, for this privilege, and we honor you. From from, from us, Rabbi Knights International Ministries, Apostle Kenneth C. Chris, on behalf of my father, Papa Lesekodane, it is to God be the glory. We love you. God love you. Hallelujah.